If you only have 10 minutes, this is the best place to be. And in this presentation, I'm going to focus on three key areas. Firstly, meetings and collaboration with Microsoft Teams. Secondly, how we use AI to help you stay productive with innovations in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. And finally, I'm going to provide an overview of Microsoft Viva, which is our new employee experience platform. So let's jump in with Microsoft Teams. To make meetings more immersive, we introduced Together Mode late last year, which transforms online meetings by combining everyone in a virtual shared background. This helps meetings be more engaging and interactive. We added Dynamic View to let you optimize your screen real estate for what's most important. It gives you greater control by letting you pin attendees next to the content so you can see the presenter, an interpreter, or the reactions of a key decision maker. And we added support for presenter view in Teams so that your audience can see your content in full and you don't have to leave Teams to see your speaker notes and what slide comes next. Probably my favorite new feature this spring is the ability to overlay myself as a presenter on top of my content. When I go to share my screen, I can now select Standout, which puts me in front of my content. Let me switch views to the remote viewer. And you should be able to see the content behind me, which allows me to connect better with my audience because you can read my body language, my facial expressions, and my energy. We added support for breakout rooms, which is perfect for smaller group activities. The group moderator can define how many rooms the group needs to be broken into, and also whether to assign people randomly or manually. Once you open the rooms, each subgroup will continue discussions with the same rich meeting experiences, including the ability to simultaneously collaborate on a digital whiteboard. This spring, we're announcing support for webinars for hosting large meetings and events for attendees both inside and outside your organization. The experience includes a registration page where you will also be able to see the attendance data and reports after the webinar. As the webinar host, you have all the necessary presentation features and controls, so you can easily make someone a presenter, mute people, or remove them. And finally, for those who need to collaborate securely with people outside your organization, Microsoft Teams Connect is a new experience that enables you to easily share specific channels with people outside your organization. When you create a channel, in addition to being able to choose a private channel for a subgroup of users to have access to, you can now also select shared channels. From here, you can add the contact information for those members and they will only have access to that specific channel. This is a great way to break down the walls between organizations so you can collaborate seamlessly with external partners in your regular workflow without needing to switch from one tenant to another. We can't talk about Microsoft 365 without talking about Office. So let's start with Microsoft PowerPoint. Everyone can relate to boring black and white slides. Let me show you how PowerPoint Designer can transform plain words into professional looking slides. It uses AI to recognize that this is a finance topic and then recommends an appropriate background for it. You may notice that Designer also supports animated backgrounds for a really polished look. And for those plain lists, Designer saves you time by effortlessly creating an elegant layout with appropriate icons. Microsoft Word now comes with intelligent word prediction, helping autocomplete words based on the context of your sentence, helping you write with greater efficiency. We also introduced Word Designer to help automatically improve your document. In this example, it sees that I've used inconsistent formatting in my titles and fixes the font and font sizes for me. Excel has a rich feature called data types. In this example, I have a list of Fortune 500 companies and when I use the stocks data types, it can link them to online information. I can use the feature to add columns that automatically pull in online data, such as the number of employees they have, company financial information, or the industry. While this is just the stocks data type, we announced in October we're going to introduce over 100 new data types in partnership with Wolfram Alpha for you to work with. If you've ever tried to filter a shared Excel sheet, everyone's filters would often cause chaos with one another. We rolled out sheet views so you can apply filters only to your view. The little icon here on the tab indicates this is a sheet view where the filtered content only applies to me, which is super handy. With Microsoft Outlook Mobile, you can get time back in your day by using Play My Email when on the go. And we've made some helpful enhancements since last year. Let me show you. Right now, you've got three emails to hear about. Listen to emails from my manager. 
About 45 minutes ago, your manager Miriam sent a quick email about budget planning just to you. Schedule a meeting. Looks like you're both free at 12.30 p.m. tomorrow. Should I book this? Yes. I've scheduled this and sent the invite. You can also use voice to find things quickly by clicking the microphone icon. When is my next meeting with Megan? It uses the Microsoft Graph to know which Megan I'm referring to, and it will show the next meeting we have in common. To be productive on the go, I highly recommend you download the Office app, which is available today on Android and iOS. What I love most about this app is that it uses the Microsoft Graph to give you an overview of all your recently accessed files and documents, which makes them easy to access or share when on the go. And there is a menu of mobile optimized scenarios from the Actions screen that help you get things done without needing to get to your PC. In Microsoft Edge, the new tab page provides quick access to all my important apps. It also gives easy access to recommended files that I've recently been collaborating on. Here you can see a file that Diego shared with me. Microsoft Search in Bing allows you to see results both inside your organization as well as outside. And even though I only search for Diego's first name, the Microsoft Graph applies logic to know who I am most likely looking for. And lastly, many companies still use legacy sites that only run in Internet Explorer, and Edge now conveniently runs an Internet Explorer mode for compatibility with these sites. And for my final topic, with so many people working from home and fewer boundaries between work and family, it's more important than ever to have a work environment that puts people first. And I'd like to introduce Microsoft Viva, an employee experience platform that empowers people and teams to be their best from anywhere within the flow of your everyday work in Microsoft Teams. Let me introduce the four experiences that Viva is built on. Viva Connections is your gateway to a modern experience, allowing you to stay engaged and informed no matter where you work. Connections is customized for your organization and personalized for you. It includes a feed of relevant news, conversations, announcements, and company events, so you're always in the know. It also provides a dashboard connecting you to company resources and tools so you can easily do things like book time off or perform a COVID health check before going into the office. Viva Connections can also be customized for every role. Here's an example for a retail cashier, giving them the ability to clock in directly in the dashboard. Viva Insights helps you work smarter and thrive with insights, tips, and tools right inside Teams. This is the Viva Insights homepage. It offers personalized reminders, such as prioritizing time for focused work to block time for uninterrupted work, coaching time with your manager, and help you prioritize learning. It also recommends regular breaks with meditation apps such as Headspace and a virtual commute to help you wrap up your workday. Viva Insights also offers great tools for managers and leaders, but to learn more about that, please visit the Microsoft Viva homepage. Viva Learning helps bring all your learning into one place in Microsoft Teams. You'll find content that's been assigned to you, along with a curated list from a variety of internal and external learning sources, including LinkedIn Learning and Microsoft Learn. Here is a course that was assigned to me. I can open this LinkedIn Learning module directly in Teams without needing to switch to LinkedIn. Learning is also integrated in Teams channels and chat, making it easier to find, share, and discuss learning with others. Above all, it's just great having all your learning in one place right here in Teams. Viva Topics is like the Wikipedia for the enterprise, and it uses AI to magically connect you to knowledge and experts in the flow of your work. Here, for example, when you come across an unfamiliar topic or acronym, just hover over the word and a topic card will pop up providing additional context. If you click the topic card to learn more, it takes you to a topic page where you can learn more details, including definitions, people, resources across Microsoft 365, and Q&A powered by Yammer. These topic pages are edited and approved by experts and then kept up to date by AI. Now that is a lot to take in in just 10 minutes, but it's also just the tip of the iceberg for what Microsoft 365 can do to help you stay productive and connected in a hybrid work world so you can work flexibly from home and in the office. Thank you for watching.